Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my February empties. Products that I have used up, um, finished up during the month of February. And I have a lot, so let's get started. First, I'll talk about a really nice shower gel from Philosophy. It's the Snow Angel. I did buy this um, during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whole shopping weekend event and this is the first time I've had this scent and I really did like it. Um, I think I would definitely purchase it again later on during the next holiday. And I was trying to see if this had any kind of like ingredients as far as what it is. I, can, I couldn't tell you if, if I if it said it I can't read it. But anyway it was really nice. It smelled really clean. Um, it wasn't too fruity. It wasn't too floral. It was just a really nice clean scent and it did not irritate my arms so because I'm very sensitive with things with especially things with fragrance in my arms and I didn't feel like this was irritating at all. It didn't make my arms itch so I, I really did like that and I would repurchase. Right now I'm using another one that I purchased during that time which is called Fresh Cream and it's really good. Then I have another shower gel that I finished and this is from Bliss and this is the Fabulous Foaming Body Wash. It's a two-in-one cleanser and exfoliator. It did have little bitty bitty just small round beads for exfoliation and they weren't um, they weren't rough and it wasn't too much to where you felt like you were um, being harsh on your skin and I did like this again it had a, a nice scent to it. It wasn't too floral at all. It was more like a spa-like, almost a little bit fruity maybe. And it didn't irritate my arms either. And I got this at um, Marshall's. And this also had jojoba spheres in it, um, glycerin and vitamin E. So um, lactic and citric acids to smooth skin. So I really did like that and I would definitely think about um, purchasing it again if I found it at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Now this product I probably won't repurchase. This is from Soap and Glory. I had ordered this and when I got it in I was very disappointed because I thought when I ordered it that it was a shower gel, a shower cleanser. And it was the Peaches and Clean um, 4 in 1 Wash Off Deep Cleansing Milk. So I thought it was, you know, yeah something for the body but it wasn't it's to take off makeup it took off the makeup really good and everything still has some in it I just cannot get all that scraped out well, I probably could but I'm done with it and I wouldn't repurchase it I did really like the smell of it though I will tell you um, if you like the smell of peaches and you like a peach smell that is a very natural peach smell and not artificial you would like this and um, like I said it did do a really good job of taking the makeup off <sighs> I don't know I just like some other uh, makeup cleansers better but as far as the smell went oh it smelled really good yeah it does it smells like you just went right out to the orchard and picked you some peaches Okay, this product I will definitely repurchase and have repurchased, and this is my second bottle of it. It's the Maycoop Raw Sauce Essence. Um, this is my favorite essence. It's not too watery. It's not too thick. It's just the right consistency. I feel that I feel it absorbs into the skin. If you're not familiar with an essence, an essence is used um, after you've cleansed and toned and before any other skincare products. And the best way to use an essence is to put a few drops into the palm of your hand, rub it together, and then press it into the skin. And the purpose of an essence is that it's made up of a small enough molecule that it will go in and open, go into the pores and open it and create a pathway for your other skincare to get to your um, other areas of your skin and um, to really help make your um, skincare work better. So that was what I was trying to, to say, get to. And yes, we definitely repurchase, have repurchased, love it. Some more of the Up and Up brand, the Basic Cotton 
um, rounds. I will not repurchase these. I like the ones that have a little bit of a texture to them that are exfoliating. These were just smooth, so I won't repurchase those. This guy, this guy I will definitely repurchase. This is the L'Oreal Vol Voluminous, Voluminous, Voluminous um, Primer, um, Mascara Primer, Eyelash Primer. It's wonderful. This to me is in comparison with the um, the Dior, um, the Dior one that's like $30. This works just as good, if not better, and this is less than $8. So definitely get you some of that. We'll repurchase that. I just have not yet. This is a product from Sunday, Sunday, Sunday Riley, and it was in a kit that I purchased back during Christmas. And it's the Tranquility Cleansing Balm. It was okay. Um, it was a balm type product. The only thing that I didn't really care about it was um, it had these little beads in it that was supposed to exfoliate your skin as you're cleansing. So I didn't really feel like that I could use this to take my makeup off. Anyway, and plus it's real expensive. I just think there's better cleansers and better makeup removers out there than what this is. So would not repurchase that. This guy right here I will definitely not repurchase. This is from Colleen Rothschild and this is the, um, what is this called, the Melt Off Balm? The Radiant Cleansing Balm. I know a lot of people go on and on and on and on about this. I did not like it. I didn't like the smell. I didn't like the way it worked. I didn't like the way it took my makeup off. Um, face makeup was fine. Eye makeup, mascara, no, it didn't do anything to that, so definitely would not repurchase that. Another product that I have that I would definitely repurchase and have, and it's the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is a wonderful primer. I use it every day to do my eyeshadow with. It doesn't matter if I'm using a glitter or not. I just like the way the, this um, makes everything adhere to my eyelid and I don't have to worry about it moving throughout the day so do like that I have a product from drunk elephant again this was in a kit and this was the Lola retro whipped cream a face moisturizer it was okay um, for being a drunk elephant product I was expecting more because the drunk elephant line is very expensive but the products that I have tried up to this point have been fantastic. But I just didn't feel like this was moisturizing enough for what I needed for my skin. So I would definitely would not purchase the big size of that. This guy, now this guy, I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. This is the Sleep Tight um, Night, the Firming Night Balm from um, Pharmacy. F-A-R- Let's see, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, Pharmacy. This I got, was this in a kit? This was in a kit too. I think it might have been in a kit with that Sunday Riley thing. But anyway, first of all, this little size right here lasted forever. I don't know what size it is, but it's not very big because it didn't take much of the product. And I think probably one of the reasons why I didn't like it is that it was a, it does very much feel like silicone and I don't like silicone silicone and I'm trying to see there's a little bit left here for you to kind of see and it is a bomb for sure definitely a bomb type texture and definitely goes on the skin very smooth because of the silicone but it was like ointment like a really thin ointment that you're putting on your skin and it took a really, really long time for this to sink into the skin. You know, it's the last thing I would put on before going to bed over all my other skincare. And just seemed like it took a really long time for it to sink in. And I felt like I could really feel it throughout the night. But when I would wake up in the morning, my face would feel so smooth and just look so good. I liked the results of it. It was just getting getting from point A to point B that I didn't like. I didn't like the texture of it. 
the smell was okay. Uh, I just didn't like the way it felt. So for that reason, I probably will not repurchase because there's another product that I like better that I think does the same results. And it's this right here, which is from Caudalie. And this is the Vinyl Perfect Overnight Renewal Cream. And I feel like I got the same results from this, but without the, the silicone feel or the balm feel and without it taking a really long time to sink into the skin. It was a cream product. Um, I don't even know where I got this at, but I really like it and I put it on my my wish list for Sephora. I'm gonna try and get it out a little bit and just show you. But yeah, it's just a cream. Um, of course, it has a really good scent to it, just like all of the, all of the Caudalie products do. It's very smoothing, um, rich, luxurious, luxurious is what I'm trying to say. It just felt really good on my skin, and I really, really did like that. It's kind of sad when that was gone, actually. But anyway, um, this is from Rin, and this is the Flash Hydro Boost. Um, you know, something to help boost up your moisturizer of the morning time before putting on your makeup. I didn't really like it that well, but it was supposed to, you know, instantly plump the skin. Yeah, I think, you know, any kind of moisturizer is going to plump the skin, and I don't think you need an extra product to boost other products, so I would not repurchase that. Another product from, um, Caudalie that I really did enjoy and this is the um, La Cream, the Cream Premier Crew, the Cream. Again, a very nice moisturizing product. This was wonderful to wear um, of the morning time as my daytime moisturizer. Liked the smell of it. I liked the consistency of it. Just liked the way it made my skin feel and look and I would definitely again think about repurchasing that. Oh, this, this I really do like, but there's no way I'm going to spend the money for this. And this is the La Weekend by um, Chanel. La Weekend de Chanel. And it is a... What is this? Anyway, it's, it's like an exfoliant, kind of like a, an acid type product. There's just other ones that out there that I like better that I think work just as well as this does, but it was really nice though. So if you ever get a, a chance to get a sample of it, so the weekend de Chanel, I do recommend. This product is really good. This is the Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. I think it works the same concept as the um, the Chanel that I just showed, but um, it's probably cheaper. I haven't looked. At, I haven't compared the prices of the two, but I'm gonna assume that the Sunday Riley is cheaper. But then again, it may not because Sunday Riley, as we all know, is expensive. But anyway, I do like this. Um, I have another a bigger size of this working on it, and when that's gone, because the Sunday Riley has a lactic acid in it. When that is gone, I'm going to get the one that is from the order, the Ordinary Company that a lot of people have been talking about and give it a try. Um, this I did not like, and which is not the product's fault. It's my fault because I have dry skin. I have dry aging skin. I don't have oily skin. And this is a matte primer for matte mattifying. So... It just didn't work for me. It's from Becca. This I had ordered um, again back after the holiday or at, during Cyber Monday, whatever it was. Anyway, from Peach and Lily, it's the Cremo Lab Eye Cream, the Shadow Off Eye Cream. It was okay. It was just. It wasn't moisturizing enough for me, and I didn't notice it um, lighting. The skin under here like it claims to do you know as far as reducing the appearance of shadows and dark circles under the eyes so it was okay I would I'm not gonna repurchase it I'm just gonna stick with my um, my Bobbi Brown another product from Sephora this is the Sephora brand of the pearl sleepy mask um, these sell for about four dollars um, 
they're they are marketed to be like a one-time use but you can actually get four uses out of this little pod so if you buy these don't open it up all the way just open up enough to be able to scoop out to get what you need for that night and then the next night open it up a little bit more and you can get like four nights out of this this was really nice i did enjoy this one and this was the pearl sleeping mask Marc Jacobs um, little eyeliner. This is not empty, but I'm going to have to get rid of it because it has dried and it's just really, really, really hard to get on my, um, on my eyelids. My eyelids are really, really dry. And I mean, it went on really smooth right there because my hand is like really, really moisturized, but it just like it drags and it pulls and it's just hard to work with. So I'm going to get rid of it. Another product that I don't like that I'm getting rid of is from Pure Minerals is an eyeshadow brush and it's because it sheds horribly. Every time I use it or try to use it, I would just have little hairs everywhere trying to get off the face. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then a couple of um, eyeshadow primers um, that are dried up. So I'm going to be tossing these and these are from Bare Minerals to Prime Time eyeshadow primer or eyelid primer one was in brightening pearl and the other one is just called brightening so i did like these though it's just i got um started using that Too faced one and then these dried so i'm going to be tossing those and then i have some sheet mask that i finished up let's see i have this little pack here that was sent to me this was from measurable difference there was four different um mask in here i did use those i enjoyed them um they this little pack runs how much was this it was like 16 dollars, 17 dollars. so it made each of the sheet masks around four dollars um, i think you can get other sheet masks cheaper that work just as effectively as what these did but i did enjoy them while i had them this one is from um, Peach and Lily, and it's the Reset Button, the Soothe and Restore mask, a very good mask. And then I have some of the um, Snail Jelly mask from Skiderm that were sent to me. I finished up three of those, and <clears throat> I did enjoy those very well. The Peach and Lily Good Skin Day Drench and Nourish mask, another good one. Um, the Mizon Bright Your Dull Skin Containing White Flower Complex. This was another one from Peach and Lily that I really did enjoy. So that is it for my empties. I hope that you enjoyed. And don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.